How you doing? This is George Elijah Otomo, the CEO of MD of Niger Standard African Radio, your one stop radio in the United States, blazing news to Africans in diaspora, African Americans, Black Americans, Europeans, globally. Uh, we, we just uh, we just uh, discussed a few topics today. We're talking about uh, Nigeria 2015 presidential election, the fear, the apprehension. And the electoral expectation. We don't like to just take it too far. Uh, we'll just talk first a little, uh, we'll talk first a little, we'll bring you our uh, commercial. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Welcome to Niger Standard African Radio. We entertain, we inform, we educate Africans and Africans in diaspora. Black Americans are members of the international community. We will use just strangers with our fear of them. Thank you so much. Uh, we're glad you're back here. Phil wants to feel some new courses by vibe for because they want to talking about. Not long ago, uh, Sari Mujahid, uh, the Kuba, an alleged from Nigeria, from Niger Delta, I uh, told so talk about fear that there will be talk of God in Nigeria, except Jonathan Goodluck, Nigerian president, is re elected in 2015. Um, he said that there will be lots of blood. Uh, we, it, it was so serious that uh, um, there are a lot of uh, uh, tension, there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fear among the populace. Uh, but we would like to take it too far. We want to listen to Alaji, uh, uh, speaking to us, right? He's live from Nigeria. Just feel as Ali Dokubo, feel what he's talking about. Thank you. Feel him. Thank you very much. Feel him and I uh, appreciate you. Feel Adali Dokubo and feel him and feel his vibes. You appreciate him so much. What he's talking about. All right. So I'm not giving me a coffee. I don't have a coffee. Talking about a lot of things. Gentlemen of the press, I, Alaji Mujai Tokuba Sari, Alawadi Abala of Kalawari, want to say that I stand by the statement I made, and I want to go on further to make the following. If any more attacks are carried out that affects our people, or we perceive that attacks are going to be carried out, we carry out, we carry out preemptive action and disproportionate, disproportionate reaction to any attack that is being planned, that is going to be carried out. It's quite unfortunate that the oligarchy in the north, represented by the Sudan's Fulanese, who we migrated 
and invaded our land from Futajelon. I continue to show disregard and disrespect for the owners of the country they came into. And people have tolerated them for a very long time. But it is bad will no longer continue. I want to refresh your memory that on the 5th of October 2010, the Fulani Lawal Keita, former governor of Old Kaduna State Service, anything short of a northern president is tantamount to stealing our president. Jonathan has to go and he will go in Kazakhstan. Even if he uses the impotency power to get his nomination to the platform of the country, he, he will be frustrated at the emphasis. He will be frustrated at the North is determined, if that happens, to make the country ungovernable for President Goodluck Jonathan or any other Sultana who finds his way to the seat of power on the platform of the People's Democratic Party against the principles of the party's own policy. Today, insurgent group, in furtherance to this clarion call from the Fudal Fulani occupiers of our land, at Red Avo, they are attacking barracks and seizing weapons. Their foot soldiers in the army are planning a coup because at the top they cannot plan a coup. And good luck, Jonathan, is just sitting and watching. But we will not sit and watch. For every action, there will be an equal and opposite reaction. And it will be disproportionate. And nobody arrested this fellow, this invader from Futajelon. Law and Keita, nobody arrested him. He's walking free. After that, another fool again who had used our money to overthrow democratically elected government, a corrupt fool again. General Muhammad Buhari, very corrupt, highly corrupt, rotting. No statement. God willing, by 2015, the next statement, May 15th of May 2012, God willing, by 2015, something will happen. God willing, by 2015, something will happen. Emphasis. They either conduct a free and fair election or they go a disgraceful way. If what happened in 2011 should again happen in 2015, by the grace of God, the dog and the baboon would all be soaked in blood. He was never arrested. This man, in all civilized countries, in Chile, General Pinochet, he's been tried. There is a call for his extradition. Former military leaders have been tried in Pakistan. It is only in this class here that these things are not happening. That a man who overthrew a legitimate government continue to threaten us with blood and nothing has happened. Who is this criminal who took our guns or our resources to plan and overthrow a legitimate government? without any reason whatsoever and introduce laws, retroactive laws that led to the death of citizens, nothing has happened. To cram it all, another Fulani invader of our homeland continued. Let me also use this opportunity to say on behalf of us, one Farouk Adamu Aliu. Us in the north, that nobody has the monopoly of a violence. We have not had Maitai Sini in the south. We have not had Boko Haram in the south. We have not had Shia revolt in the south. But this man is telling us that let us also use this opportunity to say on behalf of the 
of us in the north that nobody has the monopoly of violence. We thank God that they don't have because we are going to give them surplus violence. That on behalf of the people of northern extraction, there shall be no one Nigeria if a northerner is not elected president. No northerner will ever, ever be elected president in this country again. There will be no one Nigeria if a northerner is not elected president. Because the politics is a game of nobody, they don't have. There is nowhere and habit land is more populated than the fertile south or the savannah. If it is so, Mali should have been more populated than Nigeria. Nigeria should have been more populated than Nigeria. Chad should have been more populated than Nigeria. Burkina Faso should have been more populated than Nigeria. They are all our neighbors. How come it is only this belt of Fulani Marudas that are more populated than all us? We will not allow it. We will not continue. We know that we are more populated than them and no figure they will play with their sentence. He said, the game of number and the top people are not up to one million or two million or even five million. Let us what? Let us tell them. We are ready for them. Whether the night I am not afraid of arrest. I've been arrested before. I was put under SSS on the ground 10 months, 11 days. I was buried alive. And I came out alive. I did not give up. I did not capitulate. I was detained for two. 22 months, 10 days, I did not capitulate. So I am not afraid of arrest. But they will never arrest me. Because if they do, the consequences of my arrest, Nigeria will be easy. I am saying it bold and clear without missing word that the consequences of my arrest, Nigeria will be easy. The last time my arrest reduced Nigerian oil production to 700,000 barrels. This time it will be zero. And we will match violence by violence. We will match interest by interest. We will match bullet by bullet. We will match blood by blood. We are ready for them. Good Lord Jonathan will complete his tenure of two terms, whether they like it or not. To us, they don't even exist. Because we pay them. He who pays the piper, he takes the toll. We pay them. We feed them. They are parasites. They are bugging on us. They have no reason to be with us. They have no reason whatsoever to be with us. And this is not the first time we have expressed the people, the aboriginal of this country, of this land, have expressed his opinion. He don't occur, express it, and every all our people have it in their mind that this invader must be expelled from our land. And we will follow it to the letter. And we are shouting, we are daring them to arrest me. I am daring them to arrest me if they can. If they don't, they are cowards and shame on them. There will be no peace for the man who does not want peace. When we were in the place, we fought for a just cause. We never fought and kill innocent people. They continue. I, 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 in, in a similar reaction uh, to uh, Afai Dokubo's uh, outpouring of anger, of uh, fighting for the Nigeria Data cause, uh, Professor Ango Abu for the Nigeria, uh, for the Northern Elders Forum, uh, a former, former Vice Chancellor of Amadou Bele University Zaria, uh, he said, uh, and I quote, we in the North are not going to support, to support Jonathan in 2015 because he has done nothing for this country since he became president. Uh, we, we, there's so much tension, there's so much confusion, there, there's a lot of apprehension, a lot of fear in the Nigerian polity. Uh, but it, there are a lot of tension and a lot of build up anger even in the electorate. I think we should take a little break and uh, uh, hear what Sonia Okoso is telling us right now. We just hear what Sonia Okoso is telling us right, right now. It's very important. <laughs>